Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a copy of table in MariaDB or MySQL by using Heidi SQL. It's pretty easy. So first of all, you will be connecting to the MariaDB or MySQL by using Heidi SQL. Then go to the database. Uh, in my case, uh, I have a database called TBIT and here I have a table called employee. I want to create uh, the copy of this table so I can test maybe some updates, deletes or inserts in that table before I finally make the changes to this my production uh, table. So right click on this table, go to the create uh, new and uh, here you will select uh, copy uh, table copy. Okay, good. Now you can see that uh, it is uh, already selected in the same database uh, and it added uh, underscore copy to the new table. So if you want to change the database to another uh, database, let's say we would like to create the uh, copy in the tech browser's IT database uh, you can select that uh, in my case I'm gonna just leave the same database uh, the name is fine for me as well now you have option uh, here you have uh, all those different columns uh, uh, in the table uh, in my employer table I have ID first name last name and I am not uh, interested to have IP address uh, I have nothing to do with the IP address in the copy table so I, I just say uh, one ignore it so uh, now the new table will be created with only five columns uh, good here you have a um, I'm selecting all the rows now where class for data copy now if you are interested to filter the data right now you can see that uh, this table has thousand records and if I'm interested to get only 500 record and uh, with my where class will be like ID is equal, uh, less than equal to 500 so uh, get me all the records where ID is equal to or less than 500 so it will be it will get me that you don't have to write where class here just write the condition and once you hit uh, uh, okay it will copy 500 acres to new table and uh, let's see run it okay now uh, employee copy table has been created and uh, if I go ahead and take a look on the data so you can see that and uh, here you see that 500 rows total so uh, that's all good and it works just fine very simple but if you are copying a very large uh, table I will suggest you uh, maybe you would like to do in after hours uh, sometime tables are really big and uh, in production especially when you are uh, running application on the uh, uh, source table let's say you are running the application on employee table there are a lot of inserts deletes updates are going uh, you don't want to run the table copy at that time uh, and uh, lock those tables or have some problems. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.